Just about everybody puts images out on social media anymore, and it's real important for our marketing to be able to get them out there. But it's also important that we protect those images. Well, when I put images out on social media, I want to make sure that it's very easy to do and then also affords me a certain level of protection out there. Well, in ProSelect, it makes it really easy. With ProSelect version 2014, it actually allows us to use full color overlay logos in our images that we want to export out for social media. Well, let's take a look at how we do that. First of all, let's go out to uh, Photoshop here, and I've got a, a logo that I've created here, and this is part of my bike, bike art line of photography, of uh, motorcycle photography that I do. And what I've done is I've created, I created the whole file in Photoshop, and right now what I have is I have everything merged onto a single layer uh, with uh, just a transparent background. Well, when I size this file, I've got the file size down to about 1200 pixels wide. That's really all that I need to be able to use for these watermarks. Well, I'm also going to go through and we're going to crop this file just a little bit. And by cropping it, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a little bit of space to uh, the image. So what I want to do is we're going to go ahead and I want to add just a little bit of space. I've actually trimmed it down to the image. I've got to have it trimmed down there, but I'm just going to broaden it out just a little bit to give me just a little more space on the sides. And I'm going to add a little space there at the bottom. All right, that looks great. We're going to go ahead. I'm going to apply the crop now. Then what we want to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to save this file. What I'm going to do is go out. I'm going to save this file. And I'm going to save this file as a PNG file. So we're going to go out here and down here on my drop down list, I'm going to choose PNG. What that allows me to do, it allows me to be able to take and use a single layer uh, uh, file and I can have transparency with it. If I had that with a JPEG, I couldn't, wouldn't have uh, the option for um, having transparent background, but a PNG allows me transparency. Well, let's go ahead and we're gonna go back over to ProSelect here, and I wanna to go to ProSelect Preferences. If we go into our preferences here, I go to our image effects and I'm going to go to our copyright stamp. You can see I've got my main category here at image effects, and then I've got my copyright stamp. Then what I can do is I can, this is where I can take and apply different types of watermarks. Well, there's three different types of watermarks I can apply on images. First of all, I've got text. You can see here I've got reference images only. You can see how that applies just the text, whatever I type in here when I have that selected. I can select the font and I can apply it. I can change the different positions of where I want that to actually appear on the image. I just happen to send out some images to a magazine, some low res images out to a magazine uh, for approval today. And so I happen to use a watermark like that. We can also use a mask file. The mask file is what allows us to be able to take and we can bring in a, an image, but it's gonna be just a single color mask. And again, I can vary this in the different positions of wherever I want it to appear. I can vary the opacity of that layer or that uh, image on there and I can also change the color of it. I can adjust the size of it. Clicking down here allows me to change the position. But now with 2013 I actually use a logo file. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go out here and I'm going to choose this logo file. So we're going to go ahead and this brings us up to our resources folder for logos here. And so I'm going to go ahead and click the plus button. What we're going to do is go out and I'm going to find the file that I just created here. This is my PNG file right here, the one where I've added the additional little extra space around this. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and ProSelect begins importing that file in there. We're going to go ahead and click Select, and now that's going to make it my active logo file. Well, you can see the image is a little bit large there. So what I'm going to do is we're actually going to take and I'm going to dial down the size to kind of get it to where I want it. I want my image to be um, on there to be able to kind of obstruct things just a little bit, but yet not too terrible. This isn't a logo that's going to go on a finished image. This is a watermark or an, uh, an overlay to be able to take and, and help protect my image. Um, I selected the center here and so you can see, remember how we added the offset to the bottom there? That allows it to be able to move it up from the bottom some. If I use this in the position from the right, it'll keep it a little bit from that edge and about the same distance from the bottom. If I go all the way over here, um, it'll set it from that left side. So you can see how adding that little bit of space there uh, gives us some benefit. In this case, I want to go ahead and I'm going to move that logo over to the right-hand corner there. I'm going to drop the size down just a little bit. That looks pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and click Save. And now we're going to have our logo in position. Well, let's go here. We're going to go back to our thumbnail view in ProSelect, and I'm just going to select all of these images here. What we're going to do is we're going to go up and go to File, and I'm going to go to Export. And I'm going to export 
selected sample images. Now you could select all of your images or a few of your images, whatever you want to do. Uh, you could select the whole group and process them that way. Now what I need to do is I want to go ahead and fit these images into a particular size. When I put them out on Facebook, I really don't want too big of images out there. I'm going to keep them to 800 pixels or less. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it to export the images. Now what's important here is I'm going to tell it to have a copyright stamp, to apply the copyright stamp for me. That's the logo that we just applied. If I don't have that checked, it won't apply it. So we're going to go ahead and click that and I'm going to go ahead and click export. It's asking for my output file. So let me select an output file here and we're going to go ahead and click choose. Great. All right, now what we're going to do is go out and take a look at those uh, images that we just created there. Here they are. We can go ahead and if we take a look at them here. And you can see now what we've done is you can see how I've taken and each one of those images has a logo that's applied right down in that lower right hand corner. The nice thing about this is we actually have it's a it's a full um, it's a full color logo. So if you bring this up here, you can see what that image looks like uh, when we've actually got it. Uh, right there into the file. I actually want this obstructing the, the bike just a little bit because I want to be able to take and protect it because it's only putting out there for social media. I don't want the image used for for anything else. So you can see how we can now apply that full color logo. Once again I can change the position of that in my preferences. Well let's look at one better that we can actually do with this. We're going to go out here and we're going to go into our layouts. Well you can see here I've created a uh, image just brought in a temp template. I'm going to be working with layouts mode. Just selected a template from down below, brought it in there. I actually applied a style to be able to uh, take and you know we can apply different styles on our images. This is the style that I created and I created a frame. Let's go ahead and go back to our preferences and once again we're going to go to our image effects copyright stamp. Well this time what I want to do is I'm going to change the position of that logo just a little bit and I want to actually go through and we're just going to add a little more size into the image or to the logo this time. I'm going to go ahead and click save. I've got this layout open so I'm going to go to file, export, and selected sample layout. We're going to go ahead this time I've got make sure I've got frame checked because I actually wanted to export it out with a frame. So we're going to go ahead and click export. We're going to put it out into that same location. Let's go back out and we can take a look at the layout that we created here. And you can see now how we created a image right there with our with our logo on that and includes the frame and again we can take by varying the position of where we uh, import in that logo we can do lots of cool things with being able to take and do much more creative and and much better looking uh, watermarks on our images that we're going to put in social media for pro select quick tips i'm ron nichols thanks for joining me today